Nanako-chan. Hi, Teddy. Hey, greetings to you. Greetings to you. Looks like you're having fun. Yo. Wow, everyone's here. So many people. Why did everyone come here? Exam study group. <sighs> Times like these, I'm jealous of Teddy. Come on now, let's start with proving the trigonometric identities. Ugh, jumping straight into math. Ours is the section on trig functions, right? The one where we find the area of a triangle given two sides and... Huh? You find the area of a triangle with... You know, that thing. Um... Base by height by two. If you don't mind, shall I teach you? Oh, are you as smart as I thought? Could you, uh, lend me a hand too? Oh, um, I wouldn't know where to begin with second year's subjects. Ah, uh, what's up with that? Useless after all. Don't call me useless. <laughs> I think I've figured out what buttons to push to get Naoto Kun riled up. You're pretty cute when you're angry. What? What are you talking about? That's it. I quit. This just ain't my thing. The hell with the exams. It's time for my animal crackers. Oh, can I have some too? I want to find the penguin. Hands off the penguin. It's mine. Oh, forget it. I can't think. Teddy says he doesn't know who he is. <laughs> That's so weird. My life on this side is really fun. But the more I feel that way, the more I want to know who I really am. I've surfed the net, read manga, watched TV. I even went to a place called the Library. But I still can't find anything about me. Dude, I'd be surprised if you did. Still, I'm starting to get an idea. An idea? Whoa, isn't this your first time sharing a theory about yourself? I lived in that other world. That world was my reality. But now, I have a feeling that it was born from the minds of people on this side. And over in that place, filled with shadows, I think I was some sort of special being. A special being? I don't remember anything from back then, though. Maybe it's that amnesia thing I read about in a book the other day. It's true. There are some aspects of the other world that make it seem as though it's rooted in human thoughts. Still, there's no point in applying the principles of logic and deduction to a place like that. But the fact that you existed in such a world from the beginning adds credibility to your theory. There is little doubt that you are a special being on the other side. If you yourself know nothing about it, perhaps it's true that part of your memory is missing. Tell me, what is the earliest memory you can call to mind? It's from a while ago. I've always lived there, as far as I could tell. Then it started to get noisy, so when I happened to bump into Sensei and Yosuke, I asked them to do something about it. I see. If you've always been on that side, you'd have no sense of time or days. Oops, that, that's right. Nanako-chan's completely clueless about all this. I'm sorry, Nanako-chan. We didn't mean to leave you out. Hey! I think Teddy must be a king. I read in a story that a king was all alone inside a forest because of a bad guy's curse. Isn't that what happened to you, Teddy? A king? Well, when you put it that way, it sounds about right. Teddy? A king? <laughs> I can see him wearing a cape! <laughs> Sheesh, Yukiko. You go into laughing fits in front of anyone now. 
Can we not talk about Teddy being a king? Huh? What's with that face? Teddy really was a king. There were all these other kings, too, and we all... Hey! He's talking about what happened at the club! Quiet, you! Not in front of Nanako-chan! Am I really a king? <laughs> if I'm a king, I'll get the smooch girls every day! I have this fuzzy feeling that I'll find out sooner or later with your help, Sensei. Big bro! Teddy! Is Melon Soda okay? 